got banned from a week from GT. I already talked about this in my Aiden Live video. I, I got banned from a week, and I'm not the only uh, streamer they're coming after. All the top, it's not all the top streamers, but it's people in my community. I'm not going to speak out. They've been warned by Twitch as well, but it's they're not going to speak out. They don't have to speak out. They don't want to. I'm not the only Twitch streamer who's warned. I'm not. Um, there's other Twitch streamers warning. You guys can say names all you want. I'm not. I'm not going to say them. I'm not. Um, I, I'm not. I'm not going to. But what I will say is, it's a serious problem because imagine it being this, right? This is a, a platform which gave me, made me me. I, I built a strong community from this. But I'm gonna. It's inevitable to make a mistake on my stream. It's inevitable for me to break terms of service. But it's not about if you're breaking TOS, you should punish this person without letting them know what the f is wrong like, and, and give them a, a crazy suspension. You know, why don't you maybe get on a call with them and say, hey, bro, you did, you violated terms of service. Um, you know, how do we fix it so next time it doesn't have to go that way? I'm going to give you I'm gonna give you a warning, um, but but I'm not. Yo, the crazy thing is all these platforms, when you become monetized, you get some type of rep, a YouTube rep, a Twitch rep, somebody that talks to between Twitch and you to help you in your situation. They don't even see you send you a clip on where you you have the you broke terms of service on any on most of these platforms. They can't tell you how you mess up. It's all this indirect, oh you just messed up. Just know you messed up. And it's the like people can't read between the lines. You gotta show people like y'all can't yeah don't reach out and tell people really what it is. And the crazy thing is a lot of these big streamers that make the most money on their platform that help them make the most money, they don't even reach out. They don't have no type of connection. They never talk to them. They won't they won't maximize your deal or nothing like that. Some it's bull. It's a bunch of bull. I can abandon you, don't worry, but we just gotta fix it. Because if it keeps happening, then we gotta take action. Why is that not the process? Why do we gotta go through this email process, this crazy suspension process? Nobody even knows what these dudes look like behind the the uh the keyboards where they you know with the appeals and it makes no sense. I you know, I'm not putting anyone on blast, but most partners on this platform. They have a partner rep and their partner rep knows nothing when you're banned. They know nothing. They know just as much as you. How does that make sense? You are, I'm not calling my rep. My rep is amazing. He's a great guy. I've talked about him. He's great. But how is that even possible? They won't even give you a clip. Yo, can I see a clip why I got banned? Can I, can I see what happened? Can I, can I, can I, can I see, can I reflect? Can I see what, what, what wrong? Can I see what I did? You know what I'm trying to say? They hit Bruce, they hit Kai, they hit me with these stupid fucking bands. It doesn't make sense. So after I got a week suspension, after I got a week suspension, I did three streams. I don't know if you guys remember those streams. I got on a call later that week, and um, and, and I'm not gonna, like I said, I'm not putting that name that person out there. But they told me, they said, yo, like, <laughs> you know, you gotta stop saying crazy shit, controversial. Like, it's just funny to me though. Yo, nothing he's saying right now is, crazy stuff that I would say it's more controversial because he's not pushing consumerism and hedonistic stuff like Aiden's on a journey right now and it's crazy I'm proud of this kid right here he finding out new ways to do new things man smart gotta maneuver a lot of these people that he's talking about they're scared to go to other platforms and they are the people that bring the people to these platforms they hold, they hold the keys, the, the, all the cards in their pockets, but they're scared to go and do other things. Like they can, they can stream on YouTube, they can stream on Rumble, they can stream on Aiden streaming on Kick right now. They could go and, and do other stuff, but they're scared. So back when I, I was reading these comments, back when I used to push and like force these certain jokes, y'all were cool with it. But now I'm like kind of pushing this other shit. And motherfuckers want to find a way to take it down. And, and, and it's facts, bro. It's facts. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to, you know, become a, a better version of myself and, and, and show everyone that, like, it's possible to fucking be the best version of yourselves. I love all of you. I want everyone to be a fucking a, a boss in this world and get rich as fuck and, and, and accomplish everything. You see his chat. His chat going crazy. They talking about they talking about Twitch, Matrix, L Twitch, Twitch Evil, all of that. Conquer everything. And I've, and I've been really, really just trying to put that shit in, 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 you know, into everyone's brains. And motherfuckers are still trying to find ways to bring me down. Um, and that's cool, you know, because when you speak the truth, that's when you're, you know, when you when you speak real shit, that's when like you're a target. It's true. Um, but that's I'm not gonna get to that corny fucking side of things. I'm gonna just leave it at that. Point is this: I'm at risk here. 
all the top streamers are at risk on this platform. It, it, it's the truth, bro. It, it, it's the truth. Could you imagine a, some crazy shit if myself, XQC, Kai, Speed, uh, uh, Bruce, Your Age, uh, 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 you build the whole Avengers on a platform which we own. We own. Right? Could you imagine that shit? Speed doesn't even have a max contract with YouTube. Speed is the biggest YouTube streamer of all time. I find that crazy. He's the biggest streamer. Young kid, biggest streamer. Most likely he's going to grow up on the platform and y'all don't reach out to him and give him the best contract he could get. Y'all give these, like, it kind of blows my mind because I've been seeing, like, when they created this, the sounds, the shorts with the sounds on it, they need to send. Speed is the mascot of YouTube. When the people think of, of YouTube, they think of Speed. Speed, number one streamer. The kid that has crazy outrages. Like, they need, you need to have these people that push the, put that, you, um, also gonna push your platform, collaborate with Speed. When Lil Baby came out, um, with the shorts, it, it started adding sounds to it. You need to put Speed and Lil Baby in a video together. That will help go more viral. That'll be more beneficial to it. S speed, Speed's a, Speed's doing his thing, man. They just need some more. Sh I don't know his situation, but I doubt it. I doubt it. Most of these, the big streamers don't have these, these, don't have these, these, these conversations with these people. And I think it needs to be had because he's not just a little streamer. He's the biggest streamer. Young kid. Is, is it so hard to reach out? Even on Twitch, when Kai was big on Twitch, was Kai was doing? Kai still doing his thing? Kai, why did he not? But Kai's doing his thing. They still they tweet at him. They put them on the front, but they don't cut. They don't. They don't reach out and give them a contract. Why not? He's helping y'all make so much money. He is the face of Twitch. Most people come on Twitch to watch him. He's the number one Twitch streamer in the world. Y'all can't call directly or send a gift directly to him and tell tell him how much y'all appreciate him. Shit, that's crazy. You two give out plaques at least. I have a max contract. It makes no sense. Why does he have to worry about strikes and, and, and bans and all these things? It doesn't make any fucking sense. Why is Speed and Gideon still banned on Twitch? Hello? They're grown. When you when someone fucks up and they learn from it, that's when you unban them. You don't make them suffer. It doesn't make any sense. Why would you have them suffer? Bro, it just doesn't make any sense, bro. That boy cooking right now. Let him cook, man. It doesn't make any sense. Did you see the Bruce? Did you see the shit Bruce got banned for? I am white. I'm not offended with what you said, Bruce. I'm not. I gave you the pass. <laughs> no, 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 no. But look, real shit though. Like, it doesn't make sense. It just doesn't. Someone has to put this shit in my brain. I want to, I really, really want to know what's going on because it's really flipped. Because Twitch is fucking amazing. They made me, me, they made hella people's careers. And I'm all for it. But what what doesn't make sense to me is where where is the where's the support on both ends? You know, Twitch has never followed me. They've never DM'd me. They've never reached out to me. They've never when I was when I was pulling those crazy numbers back in 2020, 2021. You guys remember what I'm talking about. They didn't they didn't say like, yo, let's let's keep the shit off. Like, let's plan how to like keep it going, keep it moving. Like, let's do this shit in, like we fuck with you. You know, when I was doing the unthinkable, when I was crossing over and all these things and setting setting some shit, in, in, you know, in, in the sand, and it, 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 you know, I, I, they didn't fuck with me. They never, they never supported me. So I'd be stupid, stupid to not be in talks with other platforms. Stupid, where they could offer me long jeopardy, tens of millions of dollars, and they could offer me fucking equity, ownership, in a platform. I'd be a fucking moron. I'd be a schmuck. And all you top creators pulling in, all you guys, don't, don't, don't go, don't, don't go down this road with this, with it, with this. It, it's like I'm telling you, bro. It's like a fucking trap. It's a trap, bro. It's a trap because they will make you feel like we love you and we support you. They will, they will, they will tweet at you. They will put you on the home page. Why did I offer you a multi million dollar deal? <laughs> like it doesn't make sense to me. What's, what's more important to you guys, a Twitter shout out and a follow or a fucking multi-million dollar uh, deal? You want the multi-million dollar deal? Come on. They say Rumble takeover in the chat. Rumble is. Listen, my point is this, bro. 
My point is this. By the time everyone in this chat is 40 years old, I don't know what you guys are going to be on in your lives. Maybe you'll still watch me. Probably not. You're going to have kids. You're going to have your own life. You're going to have jobs, whatever. But the point is for us creators, it's so fucking new, this streaming shit. We kind of have to build. And I think being a boss when you already have a platform, could you imagine? I just said it. Eight of the top streamers go into a platform and they all have equity. They're owning their own platform. It's game changing. It's and the crazy thing is, it don't even have to be the platform he's going to. There's a bunch of other platforms out here that they can talk to and talk to other people. They just need to go and have have these conversations. That's it. It's, it's not no guarantee that you're going to do this. Just have a conversation with these people. Y'all should do that. I, I believe that the top creators should do this. I'm just a little guy, but this man right here is speaking truth. That's how you know Tate got to him, man. It made him open his eyes. When you work out, your life change. It changed the way you think. That's the the real shit. When you work out, it changed your mindset. It's life changing. It's game changing. And all that shit. You're setting. You're setting. It's like it's like making history, bro. In a way, it is. Let me ask you guys a question. Be a hundred percent honest. Would you guys open up your Twitch app if the following streamers did not stream? And be honest, yes or no? Aiden Ross, Kai Sanat, XQC, Bruce Almoff, Your Age Gaming. And don't lie to me right now. Do not lie. Would you open up your Twitch app if those five people did not? Yes or no? Be honest. Exactly. It's not the platform anymore. It's not. It's the people. And the people, my community in particular, gets so disrespected. You ban the two biggest black creators on Black History Month. How does that make any sense? And no, guys, no, I'm not talking about me. Look, I, I, look, I knew you guys were going to say Aiden and what? Look, no, Bruce and Kai, okay? It's, it's, it, you guys have to understand, bro. You know, I'm, I'm all for people having their own opinion and things, but I, I, I just don't see it making any sense to, to, to not hear out my options. And, 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 and you know, on Twitch, you can't have your own, your own opinion, really. You gotta watch what your own opinion is when you say it out loud. You gotta, you gotta stop real set, real quick, and, and and think about it before you say it because that that platform is crazy. It's like, it's like communist. And see what the fuck I'm gonna do, cause you know I can't even play games with speed on 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 stream. I can't even play games with Gideon on stream. I can't even do a stream with Soldier Boy. I, I want to do a stream with Trump one day. I can't even do a stream with Donald Trump. You get what I'm saying? It doesn't make any sense. They're banned. I heard they're striking motherfuckers and warning motherfuckers because if you watch a certain or a more amount of people, you get what I'm saying? So if I'm watching a lot of speed, I can get banned. Come on, bro. Come on. That's just, I, I just don't understand it, bro. I, I, I don't. It's like, a, they're setting a lot of warnings. I got warned. I know other top creators who got warm, I'm warned. And you know who you are. You're a fucking boss, bro. Don't ever let anyone tell you you're not. And you built what you did by yourself. That's facts. And, and you guys got to tell creators and show them how fucking worthy they are because they are worth everything, bro. Creators are fucking, you know, that's really what it is, bro. I just asked you guys if you guys would watch, if you guys would even open. Yo, I see this man growing up so fast, man. He gonna make me cry, man. I swear. You make a top G proud, man. Open Twitch. If you would open Twitch, if those five people did not stream, the chat said no. <laughs> I, I mean, I, you know, I just want to see what, what 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 the fuck's gonna happen with everyone. I, you know, I love everybody, and and I, and again, I I just want to spread positivity and and show and show love and. You know, I realize on this internet shit, you know, you, you you never win. You never fucking win. Hey, guys, Mr. Beast was getting canceled, bro, like on Twitter for curing blindness. How the fuck are you going to even give that man shit? At all? How? It doesn't make sense. Bro, Twitter is not real, bro. These people <laughs> that make these tweets, I want to see you in real life. That's not a threat. I just want to talk to you. There's no way you go outside and live in my life. There's no way you live in the world I live in. There's just no fucking way. How? Man, that's crazy, man. It's, it's like it's like he just got knocked out with some sense. Like someone just knocked some sense into this man.
His whole mindset has changed. He used to be on some straight, zesty stuff. Like, it's crazy. Go watch the old Aiden when he used to do them, uh, them room streams with the rappers and stuff like that. When um, when T Grizzly used to have to beat him up. I don't get it, man. I don't. I, I just don't fucking get it. And I want to understand. I want to understand. So, guys, I'm not permanently full-time going there. I want to feel it out, and I want to make sure my community fucks with it, too. So I'll still stream on Twitch if that's what you guys want. But what I will say is this. I'm going to kick this week. Um, I'm going to be doing Omegle, watching live sports, watching movies, prank phone calls, doing unlimited. We can literally watch porn together. I can jerk off with you. No, no, I'm still selling it. <laughs> But if I wanted to, we can do whatever the fuck we want. There is no terms of service over there. You guys can say whatever you want in my chat. Nobody can get fucking banned. If you, listen, if you love people and I don't, no, no, fuck that. If you, if you believe some shit and you want to type that shit, say whatever the fuck you want. Everything is allowed. I literally might have two people in this room this week fucking on stream just to show motherfuckers. Look what I can do. No, I'm not doing that. It's fucking haram. But listen, no, guys, I, by the way, I, I'm still celibate. A lot of people are not going to believe me. But um, I don't have to worry about going on Omega when if I see a, a big black veiny dick. Ah! I'm going to react like, damn, you're packing. No, I'm kidding. No. Hey, yo, this is what you thought he changed, man. This is what you thought he changed. A little bit. He getting there, though. He getting there. Stop. But I'm just saying, bro, you know, you don't. I don't got to worry about getting banned i just don't i could do me i'm me i could be aided i could be what got me here today i could be where i was when i was averaging 50 fucking viewers doing it on this app called monkey basically it's like omega i could do what the fuck i want i'm me i'm me so i'm doing me and they're giving me tens of m's if i go full time if you guys if you guys you know if i go Go full time, brother. Go full time. Do you. You know they're going to follow you, man. I was like, but I guarantee you, as soon as you do, Twitch is going to ban you. Twitch is going to try to ban you. You might get a ban from this video. You don't never know. You might, they, they might tell other streamers that they can't collab with you on, on their stream. And equity. I'll be older. And y'all, and y'all, and y'all got to understand. They're offering all this shit to fucking. Speed, Kai, Bruce, Rage, the five creators I named. It'd be crazy if all the Avengers just assembled. I don't know. And then all my brothers and I could take a trip to fucking Bora Bora and just chill on a boat, all five of us, and really laugh and take a crazy picture and caption it. Fuck you, Twitch. Nah, 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 nah. Chill out. I love you, Twitch. I love you. I love you. I love you. Basically, like when when Tate said that to, to Instagram, love you. No, nah, but you know what I'm trying to say, chat. That's all it is, man. That's all it is. Shnaggy. Yeah. I'm not live on a uh, kick yet, but you are. I'm not live yet. Then I'm not gonna come on camera yet. I can't say. Oh, you know what I want to say. You can say whatever you want. You can fucking hear me. No! Whoa! 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 Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. <clears throat> There's no such thing as TOS over there. Um. So we're watching the Super Bowl today on live stream. We're literally, I'm allowed to pull up the Super Bowl and watch it with you guys. I'm not, me and Aaron are literally going to sit right here and watch the Super Bowl. We're going to bet against each other and we're going to literally just commentate shit. That's a rhyme, though. But listen, man, how y'all feel about that, man? How y'all feel about Aiden's new decision, man? He, his mind is in the right place. I'm proud of him, man. He got to keep, he got to set the way for other creators because now other creators can go. Could start on on kick or whatever instead of you know you got people that you said the way where people started on Twitch and they're becoming big now but now people could go on another platform. Y'all setting the path for a lot of these people and you getting equity and you getting tens of millions like if you go full time. I don't see no downside for you, brother. You need to do that shit, man. How y'all feel about that, man?